Well, it's been a while and we're back. So we have somebody new. Hello, everyone. I am Ricardo Bernal and I am replacing Gabby. I am the new center assistant. So I'm here to bother you. I'm here for you to bother me. We're really, really happy to have Ricardo on board. Um, he's doing fantastic. You're just doing your own thing. It's wonderful. I don't have to hold his hand. Why do you always lie? <laughs> I'm kidding, kidding, kidding. So, yes, it's been great. He started Monday and you're on your third day. You haven't ran away, so that's positive. Not yet. I'm enjoying <laughs> it. I'm loving it here. The atmosphere is great. And I love all you guys. You guys are great. You're always making me laugh and you're always busting my chops. So it's a good time. So, yes, if you um, want to stop by the front desk, you'll see Ricardo up there or he's going to be. He actually has been out and about meeting everybody. So I have been making it a mission to go and say hi to everyone at least once. I'm going to ask your name about a million times. I figure maybe after three, four five years, I'll finally get it down. So be patient with me. So do you want to give a little spiel about just you? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I am originally from Toppenish, Washington, Buena, Zilla area. I, I bounced around a lot. I came to Yakima a lot as a kid. I left for 10 years to join the military. I was in the United States Marine Corps, active duty. Did that for about eight, 10 years. And I came back to Yakima. They say you always come back. Never believed it. Happened to me. Now I'm a believer. <laughs> Well, I'm happy that you're here, and Lori's happy that you're here. Lori is out sick today, so um, Lori, if you're watching, I hope you're feeling better, um, especially before tomorrow, because the big Christmas gala is tomorrow. Oh, yes, yes. Feel so, better, Lori. Feel better. And there's some great um, white elephant prizes. I'm so excited for you guys to, to open those Can't tomorrow. Wait. Lori and I worked very hard shopping for those. Um, so just a few announcements of things we have coming up. Number one, our Toys with Hot Drive ends this Friday. So if you want to donate a new unwrapped toy, please drop it by the front desk. Um, it will end on Friday and all toys will be sent to Salvation Army and distributed. Um, but we've had a great turnout so far. We've already had like a full car load sent down there. Um, thank you for all the donated for the canned food drive. Uh, they were extremely appreciative at Northwest Harvest. Um, so that went really, really well. Um, and then after that, our next one will start in January. It will be a toiletry drive for the YWCA Women's Shelter. So um, if you have any new unused toiletries, um, please bring those by starting January. Be word on the new, please. Yeah. <laughs> please don't bring your deodorant. You tried once oh, that you didn't like. Oh. We don't want it. <laughs> no one wants to share your toothbrush as much as you think they do. It's okay. <laughs> Um, and then coming up, we have our blood drive. You guys know the blood drives are very, very important to me. Um, so we have one December 29th. There's appointments available. Give blood. Start the brand new year right before giving back in some way, form or fashion by donating blood. So sign that up. Way, uh, that way they don't call you, you know, every other day. Yeah, they do call a lot. They're really short on blood. So they've they... been calling me so much. I do donate a lot, but lately I've been slacking a little bit. We'll sign up for that. <laughs> i need to sign up for it so yes there are appointments available 10 to 3 uh, you can either do it on the blood donor app um on your phone or you can give me a call at five oh i forgot my paper five seven five six one six six that i normally have <laughs> <laughs> and tell me and i will get in touch with the blood drive coordinator and let them know that you want an appointment at a certain time and then i will call you back with confirmation um, other things that we have coming up here, there's not very much for the rest of this year. The Santa breakfast went fantastic last week. So great job, Seniors Inc. You always do a wonderful job with Santa breakfast and all of your fundraisers that you have going on. Um, but we have our um, gift exchange, the white elephant, which is going to be December 19th. I'm trying to look for the time. I'm pretty sure it's 1 p.m. Um, but 1 p.m. Come for the gift exchange on December 19th. It'll be a good time. And December 19th is a Tuesday. Um, so we'll have cookies and laughter and fun for that. And then um, the last book club will be December 18th. They're going to be discussing The Elephant in the Garden by Michael Morbuago. Um, But they're also going to be picking the books for 2024. 
So if you want to be part of that, they're going to be getting all those lined up and then you can make your list because I know there's some ladies that read super early and get them all done and knocked out in a month. I don't know how you do it, but you do. That's absolutely crazy. <laughs> Gosh. I I fall asleep after reading 10 pages. It just, it is what it is. Um, New newsletter though. This is the fall one, but our new newsletter is already in from the printers. Thank you, print guys. You were super fast. You impressed me 100%. Um, that you got them back so quickly. Um, if you'd like to help out putting the newsletters together to mail out, um, we do have a fair amount of people that have already signed up. But if you have free on December 18th, Monday at noon, um, come on down. We'll, we'll always use an extra helping hand to put those newsletters together so we can get them out to you um, the week of Christmas because it's coming up and it's coming up fast. December 18th, 12 o'clock, give me a call with no paper five seven five six one six six man this is driving me nuts i don't have that. make sure you sign up one team one fight the faster the better yeah it uh, it goes pretty quick if we have a whole bunch of people we just kind of set up in like a basically an assembly line and get them all done and then we take them to the post office and ship them out good deals um and if you haven't renewed your newsletter remember this newsletter coming out is going to be with the trip booklet so if your newsletter is expired, you are not getting the trip booklet and you guys want to know what's coming up. Lori has some fantastic trips planned for 2024 and you guys all know they go fast. So get in here, get your subscription up to date and make sure that you get your registration in first thing at the beginning of January. And if you want to make an appointment, I have to make sure the date so I'm not telling you the wrong time. Starting 6 a.m. this Saturday, 6 a.m. December 9th, Give Lori a call, 576-6405. Leave her a message, 6 a.m. Saturday, December 9th. Leave her a message saying, I want an appointment in January with you. Leave your name and your phone number, and she will call you back with a confirmation and a time for your appointment in January. Very important. That way you know that you're going to get the spots and the trips that you want. Ooh. Do I get to take these trips too? It, well, you have to ask Lori. I'm sure she would pass on some to you. Oh, uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll find out. Um, other than that, that's that's about all the announcements I have for today. Um, I plan on doing a fun Christmas uh, recipe. I had picked out a hot cocoa dip. It sounds delicious. Looks delicious. Um, <laughs> but with Lori being out today and Ricardo starting this week, it it didn't happen. So next week, next week is promising. Um, so we'll be bringing that to you, hot cocoa dip, and I hope you guys have all had a good start of the December month and a good Christmas season so far. And being Christmas season, and you guys know that I'm ridiculous, I have dad jokes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no one told me about the jokes. Yes, so there's dad jokes for Christmas, mm -hmm. if you guys only knew. Why shouldn't you lend money to elves? Ooh, hold on. I don't know why. They're always short. Oh, my. <laughs> That's a dad joke. It's definitely a dad joke. What did one snowman say to the other? Ooh, what did one snowman say to the other? What did he say? You smell carrots too, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought I was the only one. <laughs> What's a sheep's favorite Christmas song? Oh Lord! It's one more time. What was that? What's a sheep's favorite Christmas? What song? What is a sheep's favorite Christmas song? Kind of oh, we hear it. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I like that one. That's my favorite one. I like that one. What do you call Santa when he's on a break? Ooh, I don't think Santa ever takes a break. But what do you call him? A Santa Claus. A Santa Claus. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> oh, okay, last one. What does snowmen eat for breakfast? Ooh, what do they eat for breakfast? Frosted flakes. Frosted flakes. There you go. <laughs> In case you didn't know. <laughs> I'll save the rest for next time. All right, guys. So I'm hoping next Wednesday, all three of us are here. Um, Lori's not traveling. So, and as long as she feels well, then she'll be here. So then we'll have our new recipe and get to celebrate with all three of us and it will be december 13th yep. halfway through the month and we're almost to christmas 
crazy that it's going so fast. Yeah. I can't believe, I don't know where this year went. Um, but I hope you're having a happy Wednesday and you're doing something good for yourself. And I will see you and Ricardo will too next Wednesday. Bye guys. Thanks for watching Chat Face with the Harmon Center Girls. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Like or share as well. Have a great day.